I wanted to make a quick video to talk about my latest multi-view rig. It's actually the third version of my 2D Puppet because I used quite a lot of elements from the other two versions. Well, I wanted to make some more improvements on my rigging methods, start with a fresh build, and remove the technical debt from all the little mistakes that were building up from when I was finding my way with the first efforts. Well, as wonderful as it is to animate with FK and IK controllers, those are just one method of posing and animating a character. Some of the things that the doll does can only be shown through animating a proper motion test. And in this one, I'm using about three different methods to accomplish what you see here. Method one, the full body spin. So I'm sending a symbol with all of her layers to different frames to make her spin on the turntable. I'm setting the keyframes every 10th frame that has all the art adjusted to show the front, the three quarter front, side, the three quarter rear, and then the rear. Method two, wind blown hair. I use the Asset Warp tool to create a vector mesh out of the hair. Animate CC allows you to animate something called pins, which you place throughout the hair, which then bends and distorts the mesh as you change their position. It's a pretty clever way to animate organic or flowing objects, but for me, this method absolutely brought the performance of my machine to its knees. I ended up having to pre-render a PNG sequence and then import that into my project with the doll. It was not a good experience. So I'm happy with the results, but the Asset Warp tool is, I don't know. Um, I, I, I didn't have fun using it to animate, but it did save me a lot of time as opposed to hand animating the hair. Method three, symbol animation. Each part of the doll is a symbol, which means I can create computer assisted in-betweens with infinite smoothness. Infinite smoothness is one of the wonderful benefits of creating symbols. Method four, FK and IK rotation. This has become my favorite method to animate with, and it's also the easiest, thanks to Electric Dog's Flash Power Tools plugin. The side view of the character demonstrates this method the best. With the Kineflex tool selected, click and drag the heart manipulator, hold the shift key, and drag it down towards the ground to make the doll crouch. Both of the legs bend at the knees, the upper torso follows the hips movements, and the feet remain planted on an invisible floor. In my other videos, I mostly show off viewport action, but in order to bring everything together, I rented out this pre-animated motion test. Let me know if you like seeing these kinds of motion tests, and if you'd like to see more of them in the future. As always, thanks for checking this out, and I'll see you in the next video.